Hi, I'm Kaylee Alyssa, and this is the Aloe Yoga flagship store in Beverly Hills. I'm an ambassador with Aloe Yoga and teach at this exact location. Their clothes are so amazing because you can wear them to yoga, but they're so fashionable that you can also wear them outside of class and in your everyday life. So take a look around, check out all their amazing apparel and accessories. They're beautiful. One of my most favorite things about this Beverly Hills location is that it offers the quintessential Beverly Hills experience. We have this amazing outdoor space upstairs on the patio that offers you blue skies and palm trees. So I'll come out here after my yoga class and do a little meditation or just simply enjoy the fresh breeze. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the House of Bijan. We're here in Beverly Hills on beautiful Rodeo Drive, and we're standing outside Bijan, which is uh, founded by my late father over 42 years ago. So welcome inside the House of Bijan. We are, as I mentioned, here for the last 42 years, and we are making the most exclusive, high quality, and in my opinion, beautiful men's clothing all around the world. So I'd like to take you upstairs to our private collection area, but before I do that, I thought I would show you that this chandelier is filled with over 1,000 bottles of Bijan perfume. So the base is Baccarat crystal, but these are all Bijan pure perfume for ladies. And if I show you the wardrobes on the other side of the boutique there, the doorknob are all 16 ounce Bijan pure perfumes. So upstairs we have our private collection. Let me show you here, because this is how we are displaying our collection in Bijan Yellow, for example. So really, nowhere else in the world do you see clothing made with this uh, attention to detail, this exclusivity, this quality, but also displayed like a painting like this. And you know, having fresh flowers in a closet for nine hours a day were some of the crazy ideas of uh, my, my late father, and it uh, is something that make, makes us very unique, and, and, and we always want to display our pieces like pieces of wearable art. My name is Stephanie Boswell. I'm the executive pastry chef at the Peninsula of Beverly Hills. So I generally start my day um, by checking the arrival report and making sure that all of our guests that are coming in are going to get the most customized and specific experience at the hotel that they possibly can. So we do everything from customizing their room amenities to their desserts based on dietary restrictions or maybe just something fun that they're planning on doing while in Los Angeles. We want to make sure that when they come they feel as though they're being welcomed and they're coming home. Uh, so today what we're going to be doing is making the Fabergé egg um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a chocolate egg that is designed down to the tooth and nail. So once we have the eggs put together, cleaned up, painted and all the rest, we go to work decorating them. So generally speaking, what we do here at the hotel is kind of this nice filigree work that looks almost like a henna tattoo, which we really enjoy. But for spring, because it's so beautiful out, we decided to go with kind of a more hand-painted look, as you can see here. So the way we do that is we just take colored cocoa butters, totally edible, and we go through and we just use regular paint brushes, and we just make these beautiful little flowers all over. Once they're done, we fill the eggs seasonally with different items. Right now, what's inside the egg is textures of chocolate. I really wanted it to just be this sort of death by chocolate dessert. So it's got dark chocolate cake that's drunken with uh, Baileys. There's chocolate sauce, chocolate mousse, white chocolate gelée, chocolate ice cream, white chocolate chantilly, milk chocolate ice cream, um, all different textures of chocolate. So it really comes forward and it finishes a meal perfectly. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed your behind the scenes view of the peninsula of Beverly Hills. What's inspirational about Beverly Hills for me as a pastry chef, as someone who lives and works inside the city, is that this is really a small town. Um, there's so much to do and so much to see, but in a very condensed area. There's beautiful gardens and shopping and museums, and there's a farmer's market on Sunday mornings and kind of mom and pop shops all over the place. It's a really amazing place to be able to find inspiration anywhere. It's not just shopping, it's so much more than that.